Today on the Average Joes of Arizona, we're going to modify the Turtleback Trailer. We're going to uh, modify the Turtleback Trailer. We're going to modify the storage on it. Um, up top here, we've got a uh, tube system, which is about five foot wide fishing rods uh, stuff like that works great but uh, I tent I store my tent pegs and stuff with long tent pegs in there but it does take up and you can see quite a bit of room just for that so we're going to relocate this to another spot and this here is a uh, this is designed to hold two six foot folding tables which is a good idea we just don't use two six foot folding tables we've been We've been putting storage in it. We've been holding uh, lawn chairs and stuff, but it's it's kind of a pain to, if you can see, this is the only access into it. So to get up to the front is kind of a pain to get access to it. So I'm just taking this completely out. Uh, I may use it somewhere else later. I'm not sure, probably not, but I'm just gonna cut that out. And if you come around this way, so the idea is once this tube is gone and the other tube is gone, we can get storage. I'm going to make some bins and a, uh, I'm going to seal it up with a, uh, a front gate on this side here. Um, that way we can get the side bins. We can stack things in a lot easier than all the way. We don't, we don't use anything that's six foot long really. Everything's about four foot. So. That's the idea. We'll see how it goes. First thing you gotta do is get this tent off. And I gotta take these things off and then we'll go from there. Okay, um, got the uh, rooftop rooftop tent off. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be. I thought it was a little heavier. Got it down on the ground over here. Um, I don't know, probably a little over 100 pounds. The one end is a little heavier than this end. But, uh, two guys lifting, if not three or four. Um, anyway, got that off. Next project, pull this tube out. So we'll get with that. And then uh, we'll break out the grinder. All right, got the uh, tube out of there. Uh, looks bare up there. Now I just need to... Uh, I'm going to try a uh, grinder on these little welds here. You should be able to get to them. And uh, I think they're tacked in on the front here. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, the other night I finished up uh, taking the uh, table, uh, the, the table uh, bin out and uh, took out the uh, round tube. So we're basically back to just bone stock. I had the uh, the awning off, but I want to keep that on for measurement when I start to add things so, for, so I don't forget about it being there. But, uh, yeah, we're at bone stock. Um, got everything off here. There's the table holder and the, uh, the tube. I'm going to reuse the tube somewhere. I'm not sure yet where, but we're going to reuse the tube. Uh, table, uh, picnic table holder is, uh, gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, delete out of this. I may, uh, see if anybody wants to buy it from me or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, I think the best thing to do, I'm putting, you see there, that's a two burner gas stove, uh, uh barbecue stove. And I want to take that along. Uh, and I'm figuring out how to fit it on here and then I think I'm gonna put the tube side to side here access it this way uh, the rest I'm gonna come out with a system try to figure out bins in here uh, seal this in something like that I don't know maybe I can put uh, things in here and then the front front uh, here will be uh, a complete bin maybe with the air Maybe something air deflector. I don't know, but uh, yeah, down to bare metal, bare 
bare bones. I found these two by two inch uh, metal, uh, they're actually fence posts uh, at Home, Home Depot. Um, anyway, uh, 78 inches long, so I cut them in half, it's 39 inches long, and uh, that's what I'm using to extend those up. Anyway, uh, I got busy yesterday and didn't uh, get any video on it, but basically what I did, we, we got everything off, and uh, yesterday was just measuring and uh, uh, drilling um, things out. If you noticed, I did add uh, some eyelet bolts. I think those are a little bit more purposeful. I had a, uh, a high lift jack uh, holder, one here and uh one here i deleted that i took that off i figured uh convenient they were already uh already threaded i just went down to the uh hardware store picked up 10 of them four for each side and uh one for the back here basically so but basically what i've done is i've taken the picnic table holder out i've taken the tube that you've seen sideways it was this way i've taken that out relocated as I as you see there um, I added a two inch by two inch uh, square tubing with some uh, I got some washers in there for spacing I basically got three extra almost three inches of height on the tent um, this thing uh, I may end up cutting this down drilling out the um, rivets here and relocating the cap down sl shorter. I'm just going to carry the uh, tent pegs in it. Uh, so that may be shorter the next one of the next videos. But uh, we've got a lot cleaner deck up here, more cargo friendly. I've got a few odds and ends I'm going to put up here and, and finish up with this. But everything will be accessed from this side, as you can see. Uh, we got the uh, got the uh, uh, barbecue on the back uh, this this section here is going to be for uh, tent poles um, next one is just going to be storage uh, and more storage on the front so it makes it more cargo friendly for I didn't have a place for like like dirty storage um, so that's the idea that's what I've got going on Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do on the flooring here, uh, i got some scratches. I'm going to put stuff up there. Got a few scratches in there I don't like. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted to, sorry about the camera, I had to drop something, I had to get it. Uh, I wanted to kind of protect it. So what I did, I went down to uh, Harbor Freight, I'm a good old Harbor Freight. Picked up a roll of anti-fatigue roll mat. It's a strip of this. It was $9.99. I got two of them. As you can see, they're not exact. So I'm going to have to cut one. I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to put it under these little one by one. It'll hold it down. Make it nice and tight against there. And it'll give me just that little extra... Um, Padding that I want up, up top for any kind of scratches. Um, so we'll see how it looks after I get it done. Okay, now I want to show you what I added to it and how I did this. Um, so I deleted the, the uh, picnic table holder and I took the tube and I turned it 90 degrees. For adding the height, I found at Home Depot, I don't weld, I don't have a welder, I don't have a lot of metal fabrication tools. So I went into uh, Home Depot and I found a 78 inch, these are fence posts. I bought two of them, cut them in half. So now I have four fence posts that were 39 inches. I drilled a hole through the fence post and through the main bar here. You can see there's three bolts here. This top bolt. I took a six inch or five inch bolt and put it through and secured the uh, fence post, the two inch fence post on there, that gave me the height. 
I put some washers underneath to give it a little bit of space to, to bring it up a little bit. If you can see here, I use some rubber, rubber grommet as well. And then uh, I took the regular brackets that came with the rooftop tent. I extended the bolts to a five inch bolt and then I attached it the normal way. So if you see, I, that's how I did it. I have one bolt on each end, two bolts on each bar holding the two inch fence post with some washers for spacing. And then I've got the extended uh, bolts to wrap around and tie the rooftop tent on. Second thing I did here, to put this on here, I took a, I had some one by one tubing and uh, I braced it across. I took a, I took a flat bar. If you can get in here and take a look and I just ran it through the bolt that I put in underneath the flat tube and then I put the, uh, the tubing up there and then just connected the U-bolt to it. You can see how I did that. And this on the other side, this is butted up almost against the, uh, uh, the shade tent over there. So I put that in back. Um, and the last thing, which I thought was pretty neat, uh, I used the uh, fatigue flooring. If you look at here, it's just a small, I got this, and I think I talked about in the video. Uh, got it at home, or uh, Harbor Freight, two rolls, and I had to cut it down a little bit, but it fit perfect right under the one by one steel tubing here. And it gives a, a little bit of insulation and it doesn't scratch uh, the paint on the top. You can see here, we did go to, we went camping last weekend. And if you can see the, the uh, firewood that we had to take along, I had uh, six of those up there, fit perfect. I just threw them in there. Uh, I could probably get four in here and four in here. So it's a great area for dirty storage. So overall, I'm happy with this. It worked on the camping trip. We didn't set up the we didn't set up the annex yet. Uh, I'll have to get a uh, next time we set it up. I'll have to get a good video of it and see if it took out that sag on that tent. But uh, yeah, it works great. Um, I love the extra storage in this. It's so easy to get to the storage this way. So much easier. Uh, just gives me a lot. A lot of storage now useful storage this does stick out a little bit I'm looking at the option just cutting this and taking this cap and moving it back I may do that I've got to see how this interferes with the annex when we put the annex on it'll attach here it'll want to drape over so I'm going to have to cut here and then just drill these out and move it back so it'll be a little bit shorter but it should work fine